Good day. Since we are done um, all basic uh, configuration of proxy SG, and as you can see on our previous videos, um, our proxy is now working as it is. So today in this video, I will going to the to teach you how to configure HTTPS inspection. So what? But for the for, for the meantime, I'm going to discuss. Uh, what is HTTPS inspection? So, what's the purpose of it? So, HTTPS inspection is actually a best practice when deploying proxy SG. So, it means um, all the uh, tra web traffic, HTTP, and HTTPS will be um, read by proxy. So, as in the decrypt niya yung proxy, yung traffic, yung HTTPS traffic per se. So, kaya nakikita niya or Anything na pwede niyang um, paguhin sa traffic na yun is kaya niyang gawin. So, so since um, na-explain ko na yung purpose ng HTTPS inspection, so I think let's start na configuration of HTTP inspection. So first of all, um, click on the configuration. Then we need to create um, the key ring na sinasabi certificate so under ssl configuration ssl create then proxy sg uh, 101 cert uh, proxy sg 101 cert okay lang yan. then click apply okay as you can see um nag okay na siya then click edit so Another information is we have two ways um, to do the HTTPS inspection. One is through self-signed certificate, which means yung certificate natin is manggagaling kay proxy. So, another one is yung nasa baba is through CSR or certificate signing request, which means we will create the um, signing request dito kay proxy SG and then ipapa-sign natin doon sa certificate authority server ni client. So after that they sign the certificate, we will import the certificate here and that certificate um pwede na natin siyang gamitin for HTTPS inspection. All right? So after nan create na natin yung click na natin yung create sa taas. Since we are using um, in this um, topology, we are using only uh, uh, limited um, ano lang natin, resources and we don't have yet the certificate authority, we will be using the self signed certificate. Okay? So, state province, so MNL, so PH, then Makati, organization, engineering, so, common name, most of the time, uh, yung common name is, ginagawa ko, is same as the ho proxy SG host name. So, for, for particular reason, uh, minsan kasi um, it helps lalo na sa, to avoid issues on authentication. SG101. So, challenge, ito yung challenge is yung um, key para siya kung i-decrypt mo yung ano yung yung certificate itself. So makikita mo dito kung naka ano naka-hidden siya yung private key dito. Ito yung challenge, okay? Company uh, Mario Nuggets. So hindi mo na kailangan actually um, to fill all the ano dito, item. So just click digest type is 256. Okay na yan. It's uh, kasi mas malaking um uh, value mas it takes kay proxy na ano na resources then to decrypt so ayun as you can see may ano na dito may expiration agad so typically 2 years yan all right so after that naka-create na tayo ng certificate then we were going to uh, go to services and then click proxy services. Then, since explicit tayo, we need to 
uh, click on explicit HTTP, standard explicit HTTP, then click on detect protocol. So, then click OK. So, okay, to have a fully uh, configured HTTP inspection, we need to do that um, detect protocol, okay? So, please lang, as, um, always, pag magde-deploy ng proxy, do the HTTPS inspection, okay? Then, I think we're done na sa, dun sa configuration. Uh, we're going to do na, na, na sa policy BPM, kay BPM. So, click na tayo sa um, BPM. Then, click on the policy. Then, click on the SSL intercept. And then, click on another one is SSL access. Okay. So, and then, for me, reorder layers. So, wait, move up. Move up. So, anong reason ka bakit siya na reorder? So, um, for me, as a best practice, gusto ko lang kapag mag, uh, i-implement ako uh, kung paano magbasa si proxy SG ng policy, ng true layers and then policy, uh, gunung ko rin siya kung paano iayusin. So, um, I have actually a separate video on regarding um, logic dito or concept about BPM sa mga policies niya. So, next videos na yan. So, Wait for it na lang to upload. Okay. So, for the meantime, create the SSL intercept, then source any, destination any, action, then right-click, set, then click new, click any enable SSL interception, then you can rename this one, then click on the issuer key ring, yung ginawa natin kanina, which is yung proxy SG101. Click in OK. Alright. Then click on access layer. Action, click set, then allow. So, another thing, note ko lang. So, yung SSL access layer and web access layer is different. Okay? Um, hindi, por hindi yung mga kinreate mo dito na mga policies, all the policies here, um, it doesn't mean that you will also recreate this, recreate that policies to SSL access layer. No. Uh, SSL access layer is regarding the connect activity ng after ng ano ng ng SSL um, handshake. So dito kasi SSL intercept i kung i-intercept mo ba yung such a particular category or URL. Then after that intercept, then we're going to what we will do sa sa ano sa SSL access na yan. So pwede mo kasi sabihin na yung server na yon is may mali o mayroong sa kanyang site, pwede mong i-gagawin mo siya validation na, na i hindi niya papansinin yung server kahit na mali, na may maling ano, may maling um, about sa, sa certificate ng server. So, dito mo siya gagawin no, sa SSL access layer. Web access layer is just, you want to, yung verdict mo, kung allow siya o deny sa isang category o URL. Alright? So, then click install. Alright, I think we are we are now have a working uh, proxy for HTTPS inspection. So we'll go back again to our um, client. Natin. So, what do expect? Natin dito? Expect natin dito na kapag mag browse tayo is dapat may na mga HTTPS site dapat may error. Kasi nga, hindi pa natin na-install yung certificate. Okay? So, try natin. So, google.com. Since HTTPS si Google, click natin so that magka-error. See? As you can see, may error tayo. So, try again. So, sabi dito is may error dito dahil nga dun sa HTTP. Ano, sa hindi secure yung connection kasi nga meron tayong uh, may nag intercept which is the proxy na pinipresent niya yung yung ayan na, yung website pero syempre as um, prevention ni Firefox ng browser, um, hindi niya hahayaan na ano yan, na ipapatuloy ka dun, dun sa mismong site na yan. 
So what will sh what should we do is to install the certificate doon kay proxy ay kay sa VM natin o sa client, okay? So click on this one, control C, then control V, then click this one uh, slash policy uh, SSL slash download underscore CA so ayan so ayun um, then click on the proxy SG101 na certificate then after na, na download na natin yung ano, certificate copy this one to the client click mo yan control C then click on this one. Paste natin kay client. Ayan. So, uh, since okay na yan, um, ito siya, proxy SG101 certificate. So, import natin siya dito kay Firefox. Options. Um, click um, Certificates certificates then e make sure dito natin siya install sa authorities kapag kay internet explorer naman of um uh, chrome doon siya sa trusted root so click on this one Just check box natin then click okay so after we install the certificate then we need to restart our browser so click on that close tab then start natin yung browser natin So, then click on Google. So, it should be okay. Yes! As you can see, dito, um, nakikita natin yung certificate niya. C, dapat si Proxy SG na. Ayun. So, common name, Proxy SG 101. Alright. So, kasi kapag, kapag hindi siya nakapag HTTPS inspection, ganito dapat ang itsura niyan. So, kapag hindi na ka HTTPS inspection, wait, crash na yan eh. Wait, uh, YouTube. Yan natin. So, dapat certificate mismo ni YouTube to. Click, click, click. Ayan. So, makikita mo dito, um, common in niya, GTSCA101, google.com, pati yung kahit siguro, cisco.com. So, pag cisco.com, papansin mo dito, So, view certificate. So, ayun, hydrant, SSL, dun siya yung ano niya. From Cisco, issued by ano. So, kapag i-HTPS inspection natin, uh, so, expect natin na yung YouTube, dapat certificate na ni proxy yung makikita natin dito. O, di ba? Cash na naman. Control H. Click the certificate. Oh.
So, access denied. Pakikita mo dito. Ito yung black page niya. Since bawal yung um, proxy SG101. So, since bawal yung um, social media, ito yung default black page niya. So, in the next, ano, in the next, um, in the next video, I will going to discuss about, um, I'm going to discuss about proxy, ano, um, customizing the black page. So, where is it? Why hindi siya nag-load? Ah, sige, wait lang. Close natin. Dapat si Cisco din ganun. Ah. So, Cisco.com. So, Cisco.com, tingnan natin. So, ayan na, makikita niya. Proxy SG-101 na, yung certificate. So, this one. Ayan, Proxy SG-101 na. So, ayan. So that's is actually uh, how we configure can we configure the uh, HTTP inspection. So ganon lang siya actually. So but this is only a uh, basic um, policy. So in the next next video, I'm going to do, to do the best practice about how to do creation of policies. Ganon. So thank you for viewing and I hope. Um, May natutunan kaya for this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.